garden, the women garden of Robin Mackey, and she's going to show us a little bit about what she does. What got you started in gardening? When I was a kid, my parents had a garden, so I always enjoyed um, going down and helping them do it. And then when I moved out into my own with my friend in Halifax, I started gardening with her. And then when I got married five years ago, I was able to have my own garden and do my own thing out here. Mm -hmm. So this year, for Christmas, my husband bought me my own real greenhouse instead of one of the fake plastic ones that you can always buy at like Ocean State and everything else. So I was able to really do my own vegetable seed in and not go into the stores and buy pre-planted vegetable plants. So these ones here I've done from seeds to plant in and everything on my own. So these are all my own okay. little when vegetables. You, when do you get to start when you're do, doing seeds? I started all my seeds the very first week of February. So I started very early. So that's why I'm getting a lot of crops before most people yeah. that have been doing them. Because that's what a lot of people are asking me about, how I'm getting vegetables sooner than most. And what, what time of year do you put them in the ground? I put mine in this year, um, since we had pretty good weather, about two weeks before Memorial Day. Normally right around Memorial Day is the normal starting time frame of putting vegetables into the ground, depending on the weather. You want to do it right around within after the last frost. Mm -hmm. So we had good temperature, soil temperature and everything else, so I did it two weeks before Memorial Day this year. And what's big, been your biggest challenge? The weeding and the heat. Oh, yeah. Especially the past three days, trying to get out there oh, with yes. the heat and the weeds and everything else, trying to keep mm -hmm. them growing because the weed will take away from the nutrients of mm -hmm. the plants themselves. Yeah. And how about your biggest rewards? It's the growth of the plants and the vegetables that I'm getting and being able to provide to the community mm -hmm. and give to them and sell to them because I am pricing everything very low so that people can enjoy my vegetables and enjoy what I do have. Okay, well let's take a look around. All right. <laughs> Over in this section here, I have um, all my baby sugar watermelons. You can see I have about one, two, three, about five that you can actually see right now. Mm -hmm. Some of them are just about ready to be picked. Watermelon I get very nervous on picking because I don't know when they are ready because sometimes I pick them and they're not red inside. So. That's one of the vegetables I get very nervous on. I, I get, they, they scare me. I don't, I don't know why. Here. Now here is the, they're actually. This these. one here I actually think might be ready to go because it's got the yellow spot. I had flipped it this morning. Mm -hmm. You can see. But when I look online, they say that the stem usually is ready to break off and I don't see this stem ready to break off yet. So that's why I don't think that it is quite ready yet. Now that's a watermelon? This is a baby sugar watermelon. Oh, nice. So they won't get any bigger than that. These are the little tiny baby uh -huh. ones that you see inside the store. Oh, yeah. Along this fence here, I have cantaloupe. Uh -huh. And obviously we know we can tell when a cantaloupe is ready. And I know I have a couple in here that are growing. Let me find, right here's one. You can see it's starting to get that beige, um, fuzzy texture on it. Mm -hmm. I have never grown a cantaloupe before, but I thought that I would give it a shot this year. I bought the seeds. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking a chance on a couple of vegetables that I've never done before, and this is one of them. Now all these seeds started in the greenhouse? This one did not. This oh. one went right into the ground, as well as the watermelon started in the ground. These I did not start in the greenhouse. This whole section right here did not start in the greenhouse because these were not seeds that could go in the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. These needed to start in the ground. As this is my lettuce where I was cut into order. So right now they're in the process of regrowing because I cut these to order because I had originally put a bunch out and they didn't sell. And I don't like to waste vegetables. So I put a note out saying if you want lettuce, leave me a message on Facebook or come and knock on my door and I'll cut them. So right now I'm in the process of regrowing. Mm -hmm. This here section is carrots. These take a couple, like probably another month or so before I'll be ready to pull these. Because once you pull them, that's it. So, and this was my string beans. Mm -hmm. Some of them in here are good. It's not quite ready, plump enough to be picked. Mm -hmm. But once these, some of them are flowering still. Some aren't, some of them are done. But I have replanted another row of string bean beans, bushes in here. 
So when these plants are done, I'll pull them, and another batch will grow. So I'll continue to have them through hopefully the fall because this is a very big item that people won't seem to eat. Now the lettuce, you could pick the outside leaves and then... You the, just cut the, the top part leaves. off. Uh -huh. Just cut the top part off. Like these ones here have all been already cut. Uh -huh. And they just keep growing. Uh -huh. So they continuously grow. In the spots that don't have anything, I actually just planted some more seeds um, for butter crunch lettuce. These are just leaf masculine lettuce. Uh -huh. And I just um, planted some more seeds for butter crunch to get in to grow. And they'll grow out summer, will they? Yeah, as long as I just cut the top part off. The first time I ever planted lettuce, I pulled them out and I didn't realize mm -hmm. that was my first garden mistake. That was when you learn. You learn. Yeah. So this bed here is my zucchini squash bed. And I have a couple little pepper plants in here. This is a zucchini. You can see in here, actually this one here is just is ready to actually be picked. Oh, yeah. The flower broke off the end, so it's ready to go. It's not going to get any bigger. And I actually just broke it, so... <laughs> I'll just take it in, or you can actually bring it home with you if you want. Oh, great. Yeah, so the, the sna end snapped off, but it's, you always know it's ready when the flower falls off the end. Mm -hmm. If the flower doesn't fall off, don't pick it. It's not ready to go. Okay. So down here I have some zucchini, a couple green pepper plants in here, just because these will overgrow um, to these big, huge, massive plants oh, yeah, and everything green else. Pepper here. So you have some little peppers. And over here as well, zucchini. But I planted spaghetti squash in here, not knowing what I was doing. I had never planted spaghetti squash before. So I'm thinking I'm planting the same thing as zucchini and squash. And that's why I have trellises up. Mm -hmm. I didn't know they grew like a vine, like a tomato plant. I mean, like a watermelon plant or anything else. And so I had to, and like a cucumber. So I said, what? am I doing? Like, what is this thing? I was laughing with my sister because she asked me to plant them. And so, and I actually left one over here for you to see that's ripe. Okay. That's going to come off today. This one here is ripe and ready to be cut off. So, it has to be yellow yeah. and it just came right off the stem. Amazing. And that's a spaghetti squash. But these here, plants grow into massive vines and that's why I had to go out and buy trellises and you'll see over like that one there it's already going down that tree trunk oh, all the way down there which I had no idea what I was getting into <laughs> when I planted these. They look very healthy. Yeah you can see a couple growing off the vine right off the trellis right here. Yes. Some new ones right here <laughs> and then there's one right in here that hasn't quite gone yet. See, it's green. Oh, yeah. So that's how you know it's not ready yet. Because it's green, it has to turn yellow. I had to really do some research on these because I said to my sister, I got no clue what I'm doing with these. I don't even eat them. <laughs> I like spaghetti squash. I never had one before. You I didn't really I didn't... eat them like spaghetti. Yeah, my sister loves them. She asked me to plant them for her. I had no idea. And then over here, these are just regular, I know what this here is, this row of tomatoes. This is the only row of tomatoes I know what I have. These are basic heirloom, um, basic red tomatoes plants, mm -hmm. is this one right here. The rest are all like heirloom. Um, oh, those are over here, heirloom. Over here is all heirloom, different, five different kinds of tomato plants mm -hmm. all blended in together. Like a Cherokee purple, uh -huh. yellow pear, heirloom. Mm -hmm. And all these different. Started from seed? All started from seeds. Mm -hmm. This here is just basic red tomatoes are in this row right here that I know for sure. I made sure I knew where those were planted <laughs> for people. But these over here will be all the heirloom gourmet tomatoes in these two beds. Uh, do you do anything about freezing some of them if you have an abundance? Do about anything about what? Freezing them when you have a lot? Um, you... Some people jar them, some people, I mean, my mom makes sauce, I everything, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's the one thing I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm going to run out of tomatoes, the <laughs> amount people want. Mm -hmm. They're asking me for them like you cannot believe, like that's the one thing everybody's requesting right now. Mm -hmm. So, is that and peppers. Mm -hmm. And then my eggplants. And my eggplants, I have two different kinds of eggplants growing. 
One is a regular size eggplant, and then one is a smaller eggplant. Is this one here, or these two? They're these? all mixed in together, mm -hmm. so you could tell when they're done. Which ones are yeah, these ones here are all, they're all growing together. Mm -hmm. You could tell the formation of them when they're done. This one here is just about done growing. This will be one of the smaller ones, mm -hmm. and it's almost done. How can you tell? It's just by the shape, the fatness of it. The mm -hmm. other ones will grow a little bit longer, yeah. and this one here will stay short in, um, short in the fat sense. Mm -hmm. So, and then these are, I did two peppers, just regular green, and then I did a carnival bell, which when you cut these open, they're green inside, but the outside stays purple, mm -hmm. or yellow, or any color right here. Like I had one last night for dinner, it was delicious. Mm -hmm. So nice and sweet. Nice. Yep, but they're all different colors, but they taste like a regular bell pepper. Mm -hmm. They're very good. So, those well, are the peppers. When you started these um, beds, did you have to bring in soil? This is all cow manure. Oh. So, yep, I used all, or like all, there's no pesticides. I used nothing mm -hmm. to that nature because I have severe um, allergies to mm -hmm. chemicals. So, where I can't be around chemicals a lot. Yeah because I can go into anaphylaxis very easily. I'm very, very cautious about what I use. And that's my big thing, so. Well, that's amazing. I don't really see any problems with pests at all. Nothing. I'm very, 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 very cautious about what I do and everything. So this is more eggplants. My mother requested lots of eggplant. <laughs> so a lot of this is family request. Then over here is my regular cucumbers. These are just regular cucumbers in here. And where every flower is, there'll be a cucumber? Yep, there could be a cucumber, yep. The bees just have to harvest it. Earlier, I had about five bees in one of the flowers on the spaghetti squash pollinating. <laughs> wow. So, then on this side is pickling cucumbers, which with the heat the past weekend, I wasn't able to get at the smallest size, but what's funny is that the customers, that basket over there of cucumbers, uh -huh are all pickling cucumbers, but customers are liking them at the bigger stage because they taste great as a regular cucumber. Uh -huh. They're just a, a larger size, but they're delicious. People think a pickling cucumber, you need to be small, you can only use them for pickling, but they're very good. It's just a regular salad cucumber. Uh -huh. So that uh -huh. whole basket over there, and uh -huh. I just sell those for like 50 cents at that size. They're perfect. Uh -huh. And then here is just all the extra plants that I had no home for. Then my husband had to buy me another that I tried to give away on <laughs> Facebook and nobody claimed. <laughs> and I would refuse to just dump them. So he went and bought me another bed. He said, this, this garden started out as just four beds. Oh. And he was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and it turned into what, nine? And all along the fence line. And some pots. Yeah, so. This is just everything combined. Tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, you name it, it's in here. So, and I got some, you can see some bees flying around here. Some yellow mm -hmm. pears, yellow pear tomatoes in here, mm -hmm. ready to go, yeah. almost ready. Those will ripen up very quickly. They always do ripen up much quicker than everything else. Mm -hmm. So I actually cut an eggplant right off of this earlier. My mother came over, saw her, and she was like, get me scissors. <laughs> and she cut it right off because she was ready to have it. Because she freezes the egg, she slices them up cook, and freezes them ahead of time because she makes eggplant harm. Like this one right here, I left this one for you to see. This one is ready to go. Like this eggplant is all ready. You see how it's a little longer and thinner? Yes. So. Yep, and then I have some, I planted a couple pumpkin seeds along that wall that are starting to sprout out because I plant my pumpkin seeds a little bit later on so that they don't interfere with everything else. And that's pretty much it for my garden. I mean, everything is starting to come out, everything's starting to bloom, so every tomatoes are starting to change. You've got some flowers over here too. All my flowers, yes. Those are all wild flowers and my butterfly <laughs> bushes. All my sunflowers, these are all wildflowers. Uh -huh. I buy a pack of wildflowers, these are all perennials, so they'll come back every year. Mm -hmm. 
and I just sprinkle the seeds down and I sprinkle sunflowers down. You know, I have a hard time determining what's the weed and what's the flower every time in Well, the what's funny is that my husband says to me, did you plant corn here? And I said, no, I didn't plant corn. These are all, um, some, these are all wildflowers. I plant all wildflowers in here. But right here, look, it's a flower. Uh -huh. But he thought I planted corn. It's a wildflower. That was a seed that grew. Yeah. But he was like, you planted corn. And I said, I don't plant corn in my flower bed. But these are all, I buy a thing of wildflower seeds. And I just throw them all down. And that's a butterfly bush that I planted two years ago. Oh, yeah. And it really took. And then my roses. I love butterflies. Butterflies and sunflowers are my two favorite things yeah. in the entire world. <laughs> so... But this sunflower right here, where is it? It has like three or four buds on it. Oh yeah, will you say harvest the seeds? Yes, I will. When this goes, all those seeds right there. Yeah, what do you do, just pick them off? I just take them and I put them in a bag. Uh -huh. And I'll get the sunflowers every year. Oh, so, okay. and a lot of my sunflower seeds that I have, when we got married five years ago, I gave sunflower seeds out as a wedding gift. Nice. As a gift to everybody, because my wedding, all I said, all he cares is that you guys wear navy blue and carry sunflowers. <laughs> that was all I cared about at my wedding. So, I didn't care what they, what dress they wore as long as it was navy yeah. blue. We got married in September. Sounds so, nice. nice in fall. Yeah. What, what determines fall more than sunflowers and navy. Uh -huh. But yeah, I love just wildflowers and, and all that. And I just planted some Paloxy flowers along the front rock wall. Like my husband just built that rock mm -hmm. wall. Okay. Let's look at that. And they haven't grown yet, though. I bought them from Tennessee. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Because I don't know. So I did Paloxy flowers right here. If I can get rid of this one weed, this one here, it, it's like it's gonna be it's gonna be the death of me these paloxy which are those wall growing flowers oh yeah that will come down my husband just built this rock wall right here all the way down because the town will like to plow the snow up into our yard they come off the street mm -hmm. and it comes straight up that's why we can't grow grass here because of all the asphalt and the snow and the salt mm -hmm. is one of the main reasons why we can't grow grass here so he went around into our backyard and found all the big rocks and into a couple of our neighbors. And we did that, so I planted all these flowers going all the way down, pink, purple, and white. Oh, that's gonna come out nice. Yeah, hopefully, and they'll, they'll those rock flowing, um, flowing flowers going all the way down. Oh, yeah. So I got them from Nashville. They cost me a little bit of money, but <laughs> fingers crossed that they, they grow. And then that's my stand. And then that's my rock I painted. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I that like way people can little, find my address. Your little dog there, too. Oh, my little dog flower? <laughs> and my cat one? I have wildflowers <laughs> planted in that because those flowers passed, didn't survive. I bought them at Lowe's. They didn't survive. So and then my flag. Stand. Yep. And it's an honor system. Just mm -hmm. leave your money. I don't, you know, I've only had one person come and take all my vegetables and not leave any money. Mm. But I left a message because we have cameras. Uh-huh. So I left a message on Facebook saying, if you guys need vegetables, just come and knock on my door. I'm more than happy to give them to you. I'm not gonna tell you no. If you have a problem, you don't have money, I'm more than happy to give you whatever you need. Just don't come and take them all. That's the way I feel. Yes. And I got some pushback from people and some people agreed with me. <laughs> but the way I feel, well, if you I need them, please well, take them, please most, ask me. Yeah. Most of the time, the honor system works. Yes, but they came in, they wiped out the whole stand. Oh, jeez. So. <laughs> they must have been hungry. Yeah, but if you are desperate and you don't have money, I'm more than happy to give to you. Yeah. And that's how I feel. This is really nice. Did you build a stand? My husband built the stand for me. Very nice. Yep. Well, Robin, it's been a pleasure talking yes, to you. Yes, it was very nice talking to you, too. <laughs> and you can have these.